What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. You already know what day it is today. It is Annie Monday. The day where I draw anime for you guys. And yes, I know I've been gone for a very long time, but I have my reasons. After I built my new computer, I lost everything. I thought for sure I saved it onto my Google Drive, but then again, it did not save properly. And so a lot of my stuff became corrupted and I had to remake a lot of my logos and things all over again. It took me a while to do all this stuff and it was just like, what the hell, man? But other than that, today, in this anime monday we're going to be drawing nezuko from demon slayer really cool character i'm going to be drawing mainly just her head uh and this is my reference image right here on the side i'm going to have it on the side for pretty much the whole entire image and this is what i'm going to use to draw the character so when drawing any character i always start off with the bare bones the skeletal form for this character just gonna be drawing the head so only thing i got to do is draw an upside down egg for her head and it's very simple very easy and very simplistic just to make the guidelines when you're making your character so you know make your head as an upside down egg and then you can uh you can level it off later and start cleaning it up as you see here it's just an upside down egg for the head and then i can start making my guidelines for where the eyes are going to be at and for the nose and for the mouth uh since Nezuko is wearing a bamboo muzzle it's like a big giant rectangle it's very easy to just draw in her mouth her eyes are big humongous circles so it's extremely easy to draw this character her nose is very simplistic it's just a few little dashes and lines so it's not overly complicated or overly detailed instead of drawing her eyebrows way up in the air like on my reference image I just have to draw her eyes a little bit more aggressive because her eyes are just huge like like Disney character huge and I'm like bleh and for her hairline her head and her hairline does not really have that much distance between each other pretty much the top of her head is her end of her hair and that's pretty much it for her hair it's very simple her hair flows very easily these big humongous streaks of hair and so it's very easy to just draw them in and they're very straight uh, with a little bit of crinkle towards the bottom and so drawing her hair in will be very easy for me because it's just simple and I say this in pretty much every single one of my videos once you start getting further into your image make sure you clean it up a little bit tininess is key so you do not get lost in the massive hysteria of all the lines that you have made so you know just clean it up delete things that you, you know that is covering up other things for example her hair right here is covering up her ears and so I can delete a big portion of her ears and they don't got to be there no more don't got to be in the way very simple very easy and again back onto her hair like I said her hair kind of just flows down it's very simple uh, she has a lot of shadows in her hair what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make her shadows just all completely black just make it all blend in with each other so it's gonna be really cool at the very end and that was my idea just what to do when it comes to the color palette and again just take your time clean up your image and just make sure you have some fun with it and get a little creative with it when you're using a reference like this it's pretty much straightforward and pretty basic and you can make things extremely fast and easy so do not fret or be afraid of what you're doing when you're doing something like this this is really good practice for anyone who's getting into digital drawing of any type or any kind before you start freehanding your own creations and stuff you really want to just uh practice and just uh, figure out how to plan things out because you can make a lot of crazy artwork and stuff like that but it doesn't really go together if you don't walk in with the plan and you need to always make sure you have some type of idea of what you want to do before you start or else you'll be sitting there for about 10 15 minutes tapping your pencil on your head trying to figure out what to do and as you see here i am now pretty much finishing up the rough sketch what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start drawing in the shadows of where i want the shadows to be at usually i always save this step for the the fine detail step but i just want to do a little earlier and just you know just feeling out where shadows should be at looking at my reference see where her shadows on her hair is being at you can see that it's like certain portions of her forehead her chin and things like that just trying to just feel it out trying to figure out what to do with it and um yeah that's pretty much it for this video i'm gonna begin doing the detail phase and the fine art phase and then the the coloring phase and all that happy stuff and i always speed it up in my videos but uh yeah i mean your boy's been gone for a long time been busy i uh, just had to fix a lot of things with my adobe products just because it's been bullshit i lost a lot of my stuff and uh that's my own fault for not properly backing it up i didn't use the cloud maybe i should have used the cloud but that's that um but i am back in action this is gonna be my first image back in action sorry for the wait you guys know you guys have been waiting for a very long time but your boy is back now so let's get right into it um 
yeah, this is Nezuko from Demon Slayer, Tanjiro's sister, really cool character. She got that demon art fire style, it's really cool. Hopefully you guys like this video. I was thinking about making this into like a, uh, a, a peekaboo sticker, because it's kind of like that. I was almost going to give her eyes, kind of the squinty brackets eyes instead of the full eyes, just because her eyes are so big, like straight up Disney character eyes are always completely wide open, like she's straight up woke. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. It is Annie Monday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, like this video. Your boy out.